Hello everybody! Welcome to a brand new Transformers review! So, <clears throat> finally, 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 I'm going to be talking about today, as you can see by the title page anyways, I'm going to be talking about this guy. Oh yes, this is Soundwave and it comes with Doombox. Doombox is Headmaster. And uh, this figure is obviously from Bumblebee, the greatest hits line. As you can see. And uh, there's the back. So it's a slight redeco of the Titan Return sound wave. So, let's get into the review. Roll the titles! Okay, so you already know this. I am a huge, huge sandwich. S sand huh? Sandwich? S <laughs> I am a huge Soundwave fan. Many of you will already know this, um, obviously, <laughs> over the years. But no, I absolutely love Soundwave. Ever since I... I don't know, I don't know, ever since we've been a kid, I don't know what it is, it just resonated with me. Um, I just thought he was very unique in the way that he came over, and the way that he spoke, and how calm and collected he was, and how much of a badass warrior he was. Everything about him, you know. And uh, so today I am talking about... Oops. Yep, just a minute. That's better. Today I am talking about this. Actually, uh, don't worry, I'm just tinkering around thinking I've done it wrong, but I haven't. So I'm talking about this guy. So this is what he comes in packaged. It comes packaged in the boombox uh, mode. So as you can see, this is the boombox, and it is actually slightly redecored. But as you can see, you know, this is supposed to be more of a retro 80s look. Compared to the actual main Titan Return line toy. It's exactly the same figure. But it's just... It's been slightly redecored to the point where it it looks a bit more 80s looking. Uh, like on the front here on the tip, on the tip deck bit. There's like a yellow ring around it. Um, and then obviously these bits are slightly different as well I think. But... Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's a great little boom box. Um, it's kind of weird. It, it obviously it looks a lot more like a tape deck boom box. One like a ghetto blaster kind of thing that would you know something that you would put on your shoulder going down the street, you know, as they did back in the eighties. So that's exactly what it's supposed to be. So yeah, uh, this has three modes. So essentially, this guy is a triple changer. So before we get into that, I'm gonna just come up with show you his uh his little headmaster guy so this is doom box so just think of doom guy but put box at the end of doom and this is doom bo box Do doom box yes i think it is yeah wow well, i don't know what i don't know where i am at the moment so there's this actual sound wave looking for so this is the Hasbro release so obviously this is a Hasbro product uh, so unfortunately sorry Tony it doesn't have the uh, screen accurate visor it has the Hasbro yellow visor that's not much of a problem I could simply just either get a a red sticker or I could just paint over that or color that in in red um, shouldn't be a problem but no he has uh, the yellow visor um, pretty cool uh, also what I like as well one, once I get into the robot mode it does actually have a very awesome little gimmick of how this head actually completes it's actually really clever so let's just transform this little guy then let's have a look at him in his rob little mode robot mode so there is little doom box I don't know if you can just see it there we go Look at that little sound wave esque face, that is so cute. Um so yeah, 
There is a little guy. He has a little bit of. I think the. Do the arms. Yeah, the arms do move, yes. The arms move. And he has, you know, the whole. I want to hug you to death. And then, uh, yeah. Just the simple. Simple that. So let's just put it back like that. Into the head. The door. So that's that. It comes with a few accessories. It comes with this gun. Pretty interesting gun for a sound wave, really. It's, um, I'm expecting his, you know, that whole, I don't know, it's one of these, like, one of these that are essentially meant to be batteries, I think. And uh, one, this is the shoulder cannon, as he's mostly known for. So this is another accessory he comes with. Obviously, it won't be a sound wave without his shoulder cannon thing. But I, I prefer... Like with G1 Soundwave and the Masterpiece where he has his, you know, that other one that extends and it has the thing at the end, uh, like the chrome bit, and it just looks better, but it's it's alright, it's just something he holds. And that's that for accessories. So, like I said a moment ago, he has three modes. So, this is his boombox. And he also has a bass mode, which is actually a, a thing for... This little guy to actually be inter more inter interactive with him. So, <clears throat> if I remember rightly, it is quite simple to do. I think what you do, you just simply just pull these down like that, the front. Now, these arm bits, which are just here, you just spin these round like this and these come actually straight up like that. So do that on both sides. Oh, ratchet. Like that. So you can kind of see that's more of like a defensive thing. So these things in the arms actually do come out as well. Let me just get hold of that. There we go. So they become like fortified like, like guns now. So that's the towers kind of done. Now the rest of it, there is actually a couple of ramps here. These actually came off while I was transforming it off camera. But um, I'll sort those out in a moment. But these, I believe you... So these bits here, these are obviously the feet in robot mode. So they just come out like this. Okay, straight to the sides, just out like that. And then inside these, there's this little thing that comes up like that on both sides. And then that finishes that off. So let me just get these panels. You get your shoulder cannon. And your shoulder cannon just simply, I think, pokes... Somewhere on here, I think I don't can that yeah, I think it goes there. Yeah, it does, yeah. It just goes there. And there's his base mode. Which is actually kind of interesting, kinda of cool. It's quite menacing looking. Because if you remember back to like G1 days, there is a scene, I think it's in the very it's in the very first episode, Soundwave appears, but he's actually a lamppost. Which is actually quite funny. It actually transforms into like a lamp post, and then later on he has an additional mode, which is his cassette mode. So he actually does have the ability to transform into multiple modes, really. So, um, so kind of giving him a base mode is actually kind of like a little play on that, I think, which is kind of cool. I do actually think that's pretty uh, kind of awesome. Also, something I am actually just remembering I've forgotten to do, actually. This thing, I think you're supposed to put this on here, aren't you? Yeah, damn it, forgot about that. Just a minute, I think it goes on there. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that goes on the top of the. Uh... Yeah, so I, I, sh I didn't even show you that, did I? His actual cassette thing does actually have an open button. So it does actually open, and this thing just simply slots straight in there, like that. But what this is, it's just a, a way for his headmaster 
to actually kind of interact with it. So you just put this on the top, get the headmaster guy, you sort of just pop it in there like that. So now Doom Box is now completely fortifying and manning this massive fortress. Which is actually kind of cool. It actually does add a, a, an, a very clever level of playability. I do like that. It's pretty cool. So let's now transform him then into his robot mode. So just simply just fold everything back up. Back to roughly where it was before. Now what you do, you bring these bits completely down, which are the legs, and extend. So you just pull these down. So you see these brackets just pull up like that. And then fold up these ramps. And then you just turn them round, the legs, so that these panels yellow bits are actually facing towards you and then you simply just close up the panels around so do the other side exactly the same again so they just simply just wrap around and then they just kind of put it in there and then underneath the feet then extend so you've got these little toe things. Get hold of that like that. Now bring the arms complete down like so. And just bring out the fist. And now what you do, this comes all the way down to the back, and then you simply marry. Actually, no, before you do that, uh, the back, there's a back, let me show you, this bit comes down, like so, and that actually reveals this helmet thing, which completes the head. So let me just put the head in, bring this down, so head, poke straight in there, you, 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 you should know how these work, now many, many of you have already have bought these I would have thought in the past. So there's pucks in there and then you just bring up the helmet from inside like that and it just goes straight over the top and I absolutely freaking love that. I think that's awesome. And just to finish off get shoulder cannon and that pokes and a little poke, poke, post on the back there. Bring his gun and that just simply just goes into his hand like that and there he is isn't he awesome give you a little head sculpt that is really awesome he looks really really cool I do absolutely love this thing I just love how beefy how big he's just got his massive big legs Massive big forearm, so the guy he looks like he does actually do some weight lifting. He is everything I want from a sound wave. Uh, it's a nice updated version, really. Um, I know they've tried to make it look 80s with like um, you know, kind of giving him a bit more of a, a redecoed 80s look. Um, but yeah, it's lovely, lovely figure, really, really nice. So thank you very much for watching. This has been my review on him. So until next time, thank you again for watching. Thank you for, thank you for your continued support. I'll be back with plenty more reviews very soon. And uh, stay awesome, stay safe, and I'll be back soon. So respect. Bye-bye.